So I'm here at Utopia. I've been diagnosed with stage three uh, inflammatory breast cancer. I'm from Buffalo, New York, by the way, and uh, enjoying sunny Florida right now. But I came to Utopia after um, being told that my only options were surgery, first uh, chemo, radiation, and then surgery. And when I questioned to ask why, and in that order, uh, I was basically told I wasn't allowed to ask any questions. This is what you're going to do. And it left me very, very unsettled. And, um, you know, the urgency, you, if you don't do this, you're going to die, which is exactly what I was told. And at that point, um, my stubbornness kicked in because I didn't want to go through chemo and I didn't want to go through radiation. Um, I had been through it before. Ten years ago, I had breast cancer, a whole different cancer. In my right side and I did the surgery chemo radiation came through with flying colors didn't expect it to rear its ugly head again uh, in my left breast uh, completely different cancer however when I went home and told my family um, we all were on the same page and decided we were going to look for some other options my daughter went online and just searched for hours and hours and did all kinds of research and found um, a gentleman named Chris Wark, uh, Chris, Beats Can Chris Beat Cancer, and we bought his books, we bought his videos, started following his diet, um, amazing resource. Through all this, I felt I just needed a little something extra, and we actually were this close to heading to a clinic in Mexico, and it just didn't feel right, as it didn't feel right to me when I was told, you have to have chemo, you have to have radiation you have to then have a mastectomy. I just didn't like the way it was presented and I had no options. So we found Utopia, called, uh, my daughter called, spoke to someone in the office, set up an appointment for me to talk to Dr. Garcia. Uh, we did an initial consultation and he said, absolutely, absolutely, uh, we're gonna be able to help you out. He's very upfront. He doesn't say, I'm gonna cure you. He, he, does, he doesn't pull any punches, but he says, we're gonna help you to heal. Um, we, would, we then talked to Mark and uh, set up a time. He was amazing in helping with uh, accommodations and understanding what we had to do. And we made the decision to come. And now six weeks later, uh, as I said, today is my last day of treatment. Um, Monday I'll come for the final blood work and, and final um, instructions for home. But with that being said, the staff here is amazing. Um, in making this decision, it was validated after just the first few days here. You're scared. You walk in here, you don't know what to expect. You live your whole life listening to the doctors and being told to do what the doctors say. But in this particular instance, I felt I needed to trust my gut. And again, thank God I had the, the uh, encouragement of my family um, to say, yep, you're doing the right thing. So staff has been wonderful. You're not treated like a just a number here. They all know your name. If you have questions, they answer them. If I could give advice, I think I would say open up your mind and just once you get over that fear factor, which is going to take a couple days to settle in, um, but once you get over that fear factor, don't be afraid to ask and research and, and listen to what all the different modalities, if that's what you say, all the different practitioners that are here, they're all here for a reason and that's to help you to heal which is what is happening right now. I'm in such a good place. Am I cured? No, I'm not cured. I have a long way to go for that. But it's healing. There are remarkable changes in just six weeks. And not only to my cancer, but to my mental attitude, to my overall health. Um, it's pretty amazing what the human mind can do. And here at Utopia, every single person and I'm not just saying this to blow smoke up anybody's skirt, as the saying goes. Uh, they can edit that if they, <laughs> if they don't like that. But everyone here seems to be on the same page, and that's to help you heal. So trust your gut. Talk to Dr. Garcia. Don't be afraid to leap in, jump in with both feet. Talk to him. Listen to what he has to say. You may not like it, but if, you, if you're honest with yourself, you'll understand that um, what he's saying is the truth 
and, and all of the practitioners that he has here, as well as the entire office staff, they really do care and they really are here to help you, but you have to help yourself. So listen to what's being said, jump in, um, listen to everything and don't do anything else. Don't focus on anything else except healing and getting better. Um, I'm going home now to put into practice everything I've learned here to continue with what I've learned here. And I will be back um, probably three to four months to stay for another week, go through the testing again, and to continue um, my entire healing journey. So I hope this helps you make your decision. Best of luck to everybody.